Okay, I just thought I'd record this. I don't understand how it's been, it's always been illegal for you to post the same post to different groups you're in, even though if they don't like it, you know, they can always kick you out of the group. I mean, they kick people, I've been kicked out of plenty of groups for defending Bernie Sanders from assholes, liars, really is what it came down to. So now they're making you do a CAPTCHA. I'm not a robot. I am not a robot. <laughs> and I'm not. I really am not a robot. I am not a robot. And the fact is, I am not a robot. <laughs> the fact is, is, I know why this is going on. It can't possibly be against the terms of service to post this, like I'm posting my news. Uh, <clears throat> I, I post my news links. This is a links. Um, maybe it's over here. Yeah. So I'm posting this link. I, I copied the link address and I'm posting that link to mostly Bernie groups. You know, I am not a robot. And so what? Right? I mean, so what? How is that against the terms of service? And if it is, why? Why is it against... You join a group so you can post your own stuff or you can read stuff in the group and follow the group and comment on the group. And they're going to say that it's against the rules to post your... Like, these are... This is a whole bunch of news links. It's probably over here. I don't actually know where it would be, but I can find it real quick if you want to see it, and I imagine you do. So, I put together, there it is right there, so. I put together these uh, playlists on YouTube every day. So the first video in the playlist is this one. And then the second one is Los Angeles votes on public bank this Tuesday. And uh, the fourth one is Stacey Abrams Kemp invade investigation is de desperate. The 17th one is Russia pledges all-out efforts to preserve, promote trade, economic cooperation with Iran. And yeah, I know that 
press TV is a lot of times it's it's not really propaganda because they don't lie they're not lying about Russia pledging to help ease this, these US sanctions because Europe won't go along with the US sanctions they've already made that clear they've already taken that that dare that bluff on Trump's bluff Trump said that he'd sanction them for not sanctioning Iran and 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 backing the uh, deal EU decided to call his bluff and he doesn't like it and he doesn't understand like I understand the United States is subordinate to Europe it always has been I mean we went over in World War II and saved one of their asses if that's not subordination sending our people to die for Britain and we've sent people to die for I mean we fought the Vietnam War that wasn't our war that was the French man they're the ones who who started that war and they start wars all over the time we fight in Mali and the French are the ones who control Mali and make all the money off of Mali I mean it's all one big good old boys club you know the oligarchy it, it's all of Europe controls even though they don't uh, have colonies like they had before the European imperialism goes on and Europe is still the center of the world not the United States Europe and then outside there are the satellites Canada United States Australia and all around Indonesia controlled by the Dutch and the United States goes over there and works with them I was there I know I saw it anyway this isn't about foreign policy and and our relations with foreign countries but it's a disgusting mess is what it is and uh, when I was in Indonesia I saw the the establishment Democrats you know they'd set up camp there they my dad worked for Singer sewing machines which was run by a Dutch guy can't think of his name anymore but I've got his daughter's a friend of mine on Facebook and uh, so that's how they do things you know and, and don't fool yourself we're not number one we're like number 80 or something we're after Europe maybe number 40 or something and we may be the biggest one Australia behind us Canada I don't know Canada may be ahead of Australia I don't know exactly how their pecking order it works I've never been at the top looking down on everybody so you know yeah I get it Facebook that uh, you don't like and the government doesn't like and the establishment doesn't like some of what uh, these guys have to say and you know what I don't even think that's the real reason you know what I think the real reason is I think Zuckerberg's mad because Facebook's model is unsustainable economically you know have you ever wondered why they have all these ads over here and why you get the feeling that these ads don't make money so people are stupid enough to buy ads over here and what do they get they get to 500 people a thousand people um, you know maybe some establishment corporation or something decides for a couple of days to advertise over here and they make some money okay you know how I know they're not making money because if they were making money off their advertising enough to fill their pockets and bloat up their ego and to get them all the money that they want to buy all the stuff that they want then they wouldn't have to sell our data to get it I mean if they already made the money without selling our they knew they knew when they sold our data they knew that there was going to be hell to pay if anybody ever found out and everybody found out 
and the worst way, right? Cambridge Analytical. What a bunch of fuckheads to sell to. Bannon. So that's why. That's why they don't want you or me posting to multiple groups. Because, I mean, look at it. There are 5,900 members in this group. So every time I post, I, I post to 6,000 people in this group. Now, they hate that. Even though it doesn't, it's not like anybody's paying that much attention. You know, they see a thing, Martin Drummond posted a, a link to the group Union Thugs for Comprehensive or Progressive Champions. And rarely do they ever actually click on it, you know, want to know what it's about, which is fine. I'm just posting in case there is somebody out there who wants to check out my group and and look at it you go back oh it's still there quite often you'll go back and it'll be gone it's like you're not important in that group or something but that's that's it though they don't like me doing this not because I'm doing anything wrong or it's not spam that's how the groups work you make a post, and unless it's a group where you're not allowed to post, if it's posted, uh, anybody who's got their notifications turned on, which probably isn't anybody, but there might be a few, gets a notification that you post to a group they're in. How is that against terms of service? Oh, just because I'm posting the same one to many groups? Uh, why? They're my group. I mean, I'm in the group. I'm a member. If they don't like it, they can, you know. Okay, so let's assume that there's a lot of the same people in these different groups. And so they see, I mean, so they see. Martin Drummond posted a link to the groups progresses uh, Martin Drummond posted a link a, a link to the group we are Bernie Sanders see here's somebody who saw my post in one of the groups I'm posting to here's somebody who did so let's say that they get like I see this reap 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 Robert 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 you know it's the same person doing things. In my case, I'm posting links the the YouTube um, playlist to a lot of different groups. Like, I'll do it again here. So, I'll continue on. Now, before, it seems like it's constantly improving. Before they, uh, they banned me from posting altogether for like three or four or five days or a week or something. And I'm like, what the fuck are you up to? Why are you doing this to me? See, now this is one where they don't post your, your thing until they have a look at it. So, I mean, the groups have got control of this, right? They can decide whether they want me posting whatever I'm posting. And it's really none of the none of Facebook's fucking business. But they make everything their business. And I'm telling you, the, what they make their business is their business. They make sure that you can't advertise. And I'm not advertising because I'm completely non-profit. Uh, but they make sure that you can't grow. They make sure that you can't get your what you're doing out and get a lot of people in your groups, get a lot of people, maybe they're jealous of YouTube, you know, get a lot of people on YouTube going to YouTube to see your 
your stuff subscribing you know I know that every good progressive show Jimmy Dore Kyle Kalinske the humanist report Dave uh, Mike Figueredo have all said and even Lee Camp from Russian TV have all said that all of a sudden Facebook all of a sudden they couldn't get any more likes any more people to uh, subscribe to their YouTube and that's exactly what's going on here YouTube Facebook they're all saying the same thing they're all saying pay us or forget about it or you don't get big well YouTube and Facebook and all of them are gonna find out they're gonna find out when when we start uh, our own Facebook's our own YouTube's and we've already done it we've already started them yes they're just little seedlings they haven't even sprouted yet but they're going to they sure the fuck are going to so all these pages require approval now so that's basically it 